Hello, Third Land. Today for our math lesson, we're going to be working on page 210 in your yellow math book. So you should have that out, maybe some colored pencils and a pencil or pen. So this page is all about the goat twins table. And I have the goat twins right here. And the story says, I'm going to get ready to underline important parts of the direction. So help me out here. One day when Emery was in town doing errands, the goat twins, Zachary and Wackery, decided to surprise him. Hmm, I wonder where Emery is. He's around here somewhere. Oh, here he is. Let's surprise Emery. Okay. He should be back soon. Okay. So they got some of Emery's small square tables out of the shed and arranged them in an unusual way. When Emery got home, he laughed at the twins and said, okay, if the two of you are so smart, can you tell me the area of this big new table you've arranged? Okay, so we're looking for area. Help the twins. How can they find the area of the table they made without having to count all the small squares? So here we are. And we've talked about finding the area by splitting up a shape into different rectangles. And we could split this whole thing. Instead of counting every square, we can split this into two quadrilaterals. And up here, sorry, Wackery. We, this, this one is one, two, three by one, two, three, four. So, and we know that the area, we can multiply the length times the width and get three times four equals 12. We don't have to count every single square, so it's really convenient. And, where are my colored pencils? I want to use a different color. Just for the heck of it. And this one, one, two, three, is three by one, two, three, four, five, six. So we know the area of this one is three times six, which equals 18. So we could make it a cool equation with parentheses by going three times four equal, no, I'm sorry, three times four, close parentheses, plus three times six equals the area of the whole table. So 12 plus 18, which would be 30, 30 square units. And Wackery's like, I got it, it's 30 square units. And Emery goes, well, what about a different way? Can you do it a different way? And they come over here and they're looking at this one. That right here. And Zachary goes, well, what if we divided the tables this way? Will it still be 30 square units? And Zachary goes, I doubt it. And Emery says, well, how can you figure it out? So the width is three for this big long one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's gonna be three times seven. And this little square is gonna be three by three. Three times three is nine. So 21, let's, let's do our equation. So important to be able to do it. Seven times three plus 
3 times 3 for this one, 21 plus 9, 30 square units. Hmm. Now over here they're asking us if we can do it a third way. And all the animals are putting their heads together over here. Emery said, what if you split it up into three quadrilaterals? And Wackery said, hey, I see that. There's one square. Here's another square. And Zachary goes, and here's a rectangle. So I'm going to write the areas right on there. 3 times 3 equals 9. This one is another array of 3 times 3 equals 9. Down here we have 3 times 4 equals 12. Is that going to add up to 30? 9 plus 9 plus 12. 9 and 9 is 18, plus 2 is 20. Hooray! So after you've finished this page about the goat twins, go to Khan Academy and work on some area problems there for about 15 or 20 minutes. There's a lot of um, activities there. Just set a timer and see how far you get. Good job, guys.